one is now out and you can see some of the features already here of WordPress 3.1 which first is the menu bar. Now in order to get your menu bar we just need to go down to profiles or users, click on the link here and click on your profile and you can see that if we scroll down we've got an option here to have the menu bar or to show it in the dashboard. So I've got it on when viewing site and that way you get to see the menu bar across the top here. So it's just a quick way of going to different areas of your site just from the top of the screen. You'll also notice in this section here that we also have a new colour scheme which is lighter shades of blue which I have on now. If we switch it to grey, we'll go back to the standard default colour scheme and we can see that that's updated. Then just switch it back to blue and I'm going to switch my dashboard back. You can see our menus are back. One of the next, now if we go to add new post so we can go either here to add a new post we can go over here or now we can go over here as well so let's choose this option to add a new post and this is where you'll see the real changes so first of all you can see that the post screen is all in one column and that's because that's what I selected on my dashboard I can choose over here by clicking on screen options what things that I want to display. So I can send trackbacks, custom fields, featured images, excerpts, slugs, so I can show all this information on my post page or just choose just to show what I normally use. So I might not use featured images or excerpts or custom fields, so I might just take that off and I might make it just show one column. So then you can see that it's automatically made those changes. Now, another change is in the way that you link to things. So if we go down here and say I want to link to a post, naturally I'm going to hyperlink something. And if I press on the tag, I can choose down here to link to existing content. So I don't need to scurry around my site looking for things. So let me just um, try searching for something called Buddha. Okay, I've got no posts there called Buddha. I'm going to link to a earnings disclaimer. And I just need to click on that and you'll see that it's automatically put up the link there. It's also put up the title of that link so you can change that. And you can also check that box if you want to open in a new tab. So this makes it so much easy for you to link to a post that you've made previously in the past and to keep all the things related within your site. So it's going to save you so much time hunting around. And personally I think this is the best feature uh, in the WordPress 3.1 release. It's going to be the one that I'll be using most often. And I just click to add that link and that link will go to that post uh, that I'd previously made. The next exciting thing in WordPress 3.1 is in the use of post types. So if we scroll down here you'll see a new column called format where you have standard or an aside or a gallery and this will not work with every WordPress theme it only works with WordPress themes that support this new post types format. But it's a different way of displaying your posts. So say for example we collect, we save this one and we come down here and we're going to publish this 2010 theme and there you can see that link to the post I made earlier. And this is the standard display on the 2010 theme and you can also see that when we go to view post etc that our admin bar is still across here 
and we've even got the short link where we could easily just copy and paste that link and put it out onto Twitter or something like that if we wanted to share it. So that's a standard look. If our theme supports the different post formats that are available, we could choose to display our post as an aside. Now, this really only works and you only get the benefit of it if the theme that you're using supports these things. Otherwise, just look for themes that support this function. And as more and more developers get involved with the new changes in WordPress 3.1, You'll see that a lot more will be using these features in their themes and you'll be able to see better how they work and how you can get your posts to look different from the standard post. So it's a way of making your posts stand out from other posts in the blog. So you might have the standard look for some things, some things you just want as a short little blurb and you'd have a standard little post type format for that and some things you might want in a gallery display, for instance, and you'd have a different look for that. So as well as with the custom post types that came in WordPress 3.0, this is just another opportunity to display things in a different way, which is a lot more attractive. Other changes to WordPress 3.1, but they're sort of backdoor changes. They're probably not going to make uh, much difference to the average user. Things like importing the improving the way the import-export posts works, uh, adding post types to archive files, etc., so that you can display your archives in a different way. So normally the average user is not going to be that excited about the other changes because usually they're for developers to develop new and exciting things for WordPress.